Hey guys, so I have my Ipsy bag to unbox and I am really excited. I kind of spaced on checking my glam room um, until I got the email saying that my package had shipped. So I told myself, I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to look at it, I'm not going to look at it, and I didn't. So I have no idea. I tried really, really hard to not look at anybody else's Ipsy bags too, so I don't have any idea what's happening. So yeah, I'm excited. It's going to actually be a surprise for once. So let's just unbox this thing. For those of you who don't know, and I say this in every one of my Ipsy unboxings, um, Ipsy is $10 a month. You get four to five products in your bag. Oh, this bag smells. Oh God, this bag smells. Sorry, back on track. There are all sorts of different brands, so you get to try new products, and the bag is always worth more than the $10. So, yes, I really, really like it. It's semi-customizable to your style and your likes and your coloring, um, and the more you review the products in your bags, the more customizable it is gets, if that makes any sort of sense. So let's just get into the unboxing. And like I said before, this bag is back to that icky, cheap material, which is whatever I give this away. And this one stinks. It smells really kind of terrible, like a mixture of like mothballs and chlorine. And really it's mothballs. So I don't know why they did that. That's weird. This is just a list of the products that you get discounts on for the month and I don't see a card in here that says the theme so I have no idea so let's just dig right into my bag first of all I see that I've got a bunch of proactive mark fading pads um what kind of marks like acne mark salicylic acid acne treatment okay I'm excited to try these I've actually never tried anything proactive which is weird um have I? No, I haven't. I just usually find that higher strength acne products dry my skin out too much because as you guys might know, my skin is very, very dry as it is. So yeah, I usually end up getting like extreme dry patches to where it's like semi unbearable and I can't, I can't put makeup on it really which is okay in a normal situation, but when you're doing blogging and making beauty videos, I mean, no. So anyways, I'm excited to try those. I really, really am. Next, I got this Mica Beauty um, Tinted Lip Balm in Natural. And I have a pigment, a loose shadow from them that I really, really like. Oh, this feels, oh my goodness. This feels really smooth and wow, that is pigmented. It's almost got like a little bit of pink and peach in it. It's just a nice nude. I don't know where right now. I'm not going to look in the mirror, so if I look really weird the rest of the video, I apologize. It feels really nice. I like this. Winner. Winner, winner. Next, I got a, a piece. Okay, that's not how I say that because there's those little whatever things. Uh, purifying exfoliant. Um, okay, so I'll try this. Um, I'm usually pretty, pretty hesitant to try like the the physical exfoliants with like the beads and stuff just because my skin's pretty sensitive. Oh, I was trying to squeeze them out to see what it's like, but there's like a little thing on. So we'll do that later. But okay, I'm excited to try this. It looks like everything's kind of skincare. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Okay. Next, I have a healthy, sexy hair soy tri wheat leave in conditioner. And <laughs> I do kind of like when I get these actually because I just finished another one that I got in these bags. So it's something that I never really have to buy. And I use these a lot for my, for my kids to detangle their hair. They've got crazy like coarse kind of hair like I do. So yeah, detanglers are necessary in our lives. Next, I got this Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil. Um, and I'm assuming this is like a deluxe sample. I don't know if it's a full size. It could be a full size actually. Um, and it just looks like a little eyeliner. Um, the color is in pearl. And oh, that's really pretty. It's almost like a shimmery champagne. 
Um, and you can see a tiny bit of glitter in there, but it's a cream shadow, so it's not going to fall out or anything like that. So that's really pretty. I could see that as maybe a lid color for a more dramatic look or like an inner corner highlight. So I like it, and I actually really like that it's smaller, more precise. So that is everything from my really, really smelly bag. I'm really, really happy with this month. I like everything. I'm excited to try everything. I know last month I was really disappointed because, God, what happened? I can't even remember. Um, my perfumes had, like, exploded everywhere, and the eyeshadows that I got I wasn't really happy with. Um, and I think that was it. But yeah, last month I was a little bit underwhelmed and I was kind of expecting a lot because it was like holiday season, you know, I was like, oh, they're gonna hook it up. And they didn't, but I really am happy with this month, especially, I love this. I've been just totally digging these potted lip balms and lip glosses and stuff like that lately, so I'm sorry, I need to stop putting this on. Mm. And I'm proud of myself for not peeking in my glam room and looking at their hints and watching other people's ipsy unboxings because yeah I never do that but it was kind of an accident so it really wasn't that much willpower it was just like four days of willpower so I can usually manage that Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys got in your Ipsy bags. If you will be subscribing, if this is something you would be interested in, if you are happy with your bag, let's talk about it. I love my Ipsy bag very, very much. And I love that it's so affordable. You know what I'm saying? You can't really go wrong. It's one of the more inexpensive bags that you can get. And I'm usually... 90% of the time really happy with them. So I highly recommend them as usual and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ugh. So I hope you enjoyed my lip swatches. I just went out yesterday and got the new butter lipsticks. That's what they're called, right? And I was really, really excited. I didn't expect them to be in stores so quickly. Do you know what I'm saying? You know how something new comes out and it's just like never in your store. But they had a whole bunch of them. Not all of the colors. They do have more online. But I got all of the colors that I wanted. Um, nothing was sold out. And right now, I just want to mention that Ulta has, for NYX lip products, buy one, get one 50% off, plus they have the 350 off coupon. Um, so definitely take advantage if this is something you're interested in. Um, they're $6 a piece. So I went in and I got all six of them. For, I had $17 in rewards somehow, I don't know, and then um, I ended up paying $6 for all of them because I used my coupon. So definitely go get you some. I am really loving them. Um, I've only had this one on now for about an hour. I wanted to test it out for a little bit to see what it was like um, as the day goes on, but I have to get going to work, so I waited as long as I could, but I will definitely leave in the description bar what happened, if it, like, bled outside the lines or anything, but so far, so good. I haven't reapplied. Um, it does almost leave, at least the darker pinks, um, and reds do leave a little bit of a stain behind, which is kind of nice if you don't have time for touch-ups, it does leave a little bit of color left in your lips. The texture is amazing. They're pretty opaque, but I will say that if you just do like a quick swipe, they're a little bit more on the medium coverage side. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not like one swipe opaque like some MAC lipsticks or some of their NYX matte lipsticks or anything like that. So it's not like that, but oh my gosh, they're so moisturizing and lovely and I'm so dry, my lips get so trapped, and I really appreciate anything that moisturizes my lips this time of year, for sure. I think today it's like negative 22 outside. Not cool, man. 
So I hope you guys found this helpful. There are some Instagram posts and things like that with swatches, so it definitely helps to see them on different people of different skin tones, so I wanted to make this for you guys and for those of you who are the same skin tone as me, if that makes any sort of sense. All right, so thanks again for watching. Leave any questions or comments down below. Let me know what your favorite colors are and let me know if you are going to be grabbing these new lipsticks from NYX. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.